And it's a very special motorhome uh, Matt podcast today because we are live from the NEC in Birmingham at the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2022. You said it all well done. <laughs> That's all right. I finally remembered it. You remembered where you are. I did. Are you going to swallow that microphone? I'm going to try. <laughs> and we are live. I mean, I don't mean pre recorded live, I mean live, live. Uh, we're here and everybody can see us like a great big goldfish bowl. <laughs> we are real. We, this, is, this has been a technical challenge. We're live on Facebook, apparently. You could say that. I'm Keith Gooden. This is Motorhome Matt. Good afternoon. Um, it is the end of a busy day. What the devil have you been up to today? Well, I reckon we've walked 100 miles. Uh, we've been like the proclaimers, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> they, walk, they walk 500. Like 400 more <laughs> might, to go. Yeah. That's, oh, don't tell me that. Over the next few days, that might well be achieved. It's been great. Lots of interviews. Hundreds of customers. Uh, I don't know how many interviews we've done today. 20 plus, probably. Or at least yeah. 20 plus. Five strep sills. Yeah, yeah, poor old Terry Wogan, God rest his soul, would be very proud of us. He would. He would. Terry Wogan. Did he have a caravan? I don't think he did. No. Oh no. Well. Toya Wilcox was here today, though. Was she? Yeah, Box of Frogs mad she is. Uh, Box of Frogs yeah. rich as she, well. She's married to that guy from King Crimson, isn't she? She is. Yeah. He's a great guitarist. But between the two of them, they've uh, done rather well for themselves. Yeah, they have. Yeah, she was sharing about all her caravanning history as a kid and an adult. It's good to see her. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, so what have you been up to today? Well, talking to lots of consumers at the show, lots of visitors, lots of exhibitors. Uh, it's been great catching up with old friends and new. Uh, we've been talking toilet chemical for half an hour with Ian from Qualchem. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was sort of to the left of that particular conversation. <laughs> 30 minutes of toilet chemicals. Yeah, you love it, Keith, you love it. There's a future podcast, there's loads of future content planned, recorded, we've got loads to do to edit uh, but it's really good lots of exciting stuff coming all right so we're standing here we're live what's happening right now uh we are hopefully i saw darren just now come on over look darren's here do you know darren i don't know darren hello darren hello Hello, buddy he's got a mic do you want a pair of headphones why not why not this is darren from the urban motorhome how you doing kiddo i'm good how are you guys yeah we're good fair to to midland how's your new motorhome oh (laughs) if i had a pound coin for every time i've been asked that I would be buying it right now. You would, wouldn't I'd you? I'd be buying a brand new one. You're just milking YouTube. No, no, no. For, no. for clicks and views. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the clickbait thing, you know. <laughs> Instead of the bikini shot, it's just the, I'm getting a new the motor bi- home. The bikini you, shot? You know, the the, 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 with the the typical van life shot. I, I was about to say I'd love to see you in a bikini, but I'm not sure I would. <laughs> well, that could be arranged. <laughs> so for people who don't know you, can you explain what you do? So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm down in the urban motorhome. home. I've been living in uh, Swift Sundance uh, 590 RL for almost six years now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, don't really do, I do campsites here and there, but um, yeah, predominantly just park up um, as You're and where I can find Prolific ups. wild camper, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you know, politely, legally. Very respectful. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, don't stay too long and then just... Uh, Go back to work. YouTube, YouTube famous he yeah. is. So do you <laughs> actually work that. as well then? Yeah, I'm a lorry driver. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I drive double decker lorries. Double decker, wow, cool. Yeah, yeah, quite a, quite a, these are Tonka toys compared to the lorries. Yeah, so, I so bet. let me get this yeah. straight then. So, you know, for pleasure, you drive slowly down the <laughs> motorway in a motorhome. And then for work, you drive slowly down the motorhome. Yeah. The, but motorway in a lorry. Yeah, I love oh, it right. when I'm in a traffic jam and I'm at work because I see pound coins. Yeah. But when I'm on the way somewhere like, you know, and I've got a day off and I see a traffic jam, I'm like, oh, damn. I'm not getting paid for this. No. It's not it's not not the same. So you make quite a good living out of lorry driving obviously. Yeah, we've had uh we've had a good year this year cuz yeah. uh, there's been shortages. So um yeah, we've had we've had a pay rise this year which is pretty good. Good. Um but yeah, do a lot of hours. But you managed to monetize the motorhome life as well cuz you're full time in a motorhome, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, full time. Yeah, you yeah, are yeah. a nomad. Yep. Yep, full time, five and a half years. So I think it's like April, May will be six years. How so many followers have you got on YouTube now? Uh, I think we're coming up to about 40,000. 40,000, yeah. yeah. It's really good. It's, it's really good. good. You I love it. it. I love it. You love it. You live yeah. the dream, don't you? Living the dream. Yeah. You, yeah. Are, you are absolutely living the dream wherever you park up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Alone. What is going we're on here? What is going on here? <laughs> Who the hell is this? <laughs> Nathaniel. I could hear her coming from 10 miles away. <laughs> I thought she was still in Scotland. <laughs> yeah. I am. You it sounds like she could be. <laughs> <laughs> they can still hear her from here. Cat. 
Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How How's are you? Your day? Yeah, I'm good. Good. How's your day been? It's been all right. I've done two talks on stage. Yeah. Don't stop um, shouting. Just calm down. <laughs> it's, the, it's okay. It's the adrenaline. It's the adrenaline. Um, and I've, yeah, I've done a bit of wandering around, but yeah. not yeah. as much as I'd like. Wandering around. Wander, wandering. Oh, yeah. Wandering. So for those that don't know, Cat goes by the name Wandering Bird. I do. Which is very clever because that's actually her last name. It is. I didn't actually know that until very recently. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell us what you actually do then, other than shout a lot. I, I shout a lot, yeah. laugh a lot. Yeah. Um, so I quit my job used to be an national controller. I quit that about four and a bit years ago. And now I travel full time in the motorhome, go around UK Europe, share it on our website, a bit of YouTube. And you live in a boat some of the time as well, don't you? I do. I do still have a boat. Yeah. Um, yeah. But lately I have been spending most time in the van. But yeah, we've still got the boat. Yeah. So I've lived on about 15 years. Have you? Mm-hmm. Well, so no bricks and mortar? No bricks and mortar. So, so you, you, you've been five years, haven't you? Yeah, five years. You're, you're almost the, the odd one out here, you know. It's two I am. Two, come on now. You Why aren't you living time. in a I live in a come big on. posh house. You do. <laughs> <laughs> With how many motorhomes have you got there? Something how many? Really, yeah, something crazy. <laughs> That's a secret. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I haven't got that many now. We need to get you full time in. Yeah. Full time with four kids. Yeah, that's all right. It'll be we'll a great YouTube page. channel. Jude would. Jude somewhere it'll be, backstage. It'll be great videos. Think of the content. Oh, yeah. Think of the clicks. Can you <laughs> <laughs> do it for the gram, Matt? Yeah. Do it for the do gram. For the gram. <laughs> four kids. No thanks. No thanks. Podcasting on the road. I travel around a bit. We do. A, yeah, mm. we do a fair few trips. We want to do Norway. Yeah. Norway. Yeah. yeah, it looks amazing. It I know. know. You need to go. I, I can't wait to just get in your new there. van. In the new van. When I get the new van, when are you getting a new van? (laughs) Next year. (laughs) Next year. Yeah, because it's all it's all like I don't know. It's it's all playing on top of each other at the moment. Because once I get a new van, I want to quit work. Right. Quit work full time. Are you sure you should have told them that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not. He's oh, not, no, they, no, they know, they know. <laughs> no, he's not. They know, they know. He's just announced his resignation. He's actually committed yeah. to his job. But the thing about Norway, isn't it, they all drive fjords. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You've been working on that, no, haven't he, you? He's, he's just been... sat there quietly <laughs> thinking He's about here that. all week, people. <laughs> he's here all week. That's BBC <laughs> humour. <laughs> <laughs> BBC checks. Small. <laughs> like your show. <laughs> Very good. No, I... I've, I've had 19 motorhomes. We were talking about that earlier. We were. Weren't we? 19. Yeah. Is that because you didn't find the right layout? Uh, initially, yeah. Or I was, was an idiot. I should have hired along one. And things I should, like well, I should have hired one first. Well, you got a new one each kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got 19 kids. <laughs> You've got 19 <laughs> children. Yeah. Well, that'd be a big motorhome. I mean, that, how many years <laughs> have you been That's a big CSA motorhome? bill. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, that's a good question. Is that one a year? Yeah, how, yeah probably. What is that? Yeah, probably is. Are you like Goldilocks? Are you done yet? This one's no. too big. No. This one's too small. <laughs> this one's just but, but, right. but that's right. If you go too big, then you go too small. Then you must have gone too big again at some point. We we started yeah. with the bigger version of yours. Right, okay. Well, so, so, real so, age. Well, we actually started with American and you, RV. And you know what? Mm. Uh, John and Tash started with a smaller version of mine. It's all about you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like all everyone, everyone just like copies. You, you know, yeah. you just <laughs> copy, come on. You can't, you can't No, but so you've had 19 and yeah. you've gone through all the different layouts. Well, we, we started with American. Right, okay. So I actually borrowed a motorhome. Well, I borrowed a motorhome. It's called Phoebe. Really? Cool. And we, we decided it was absolutely not the layout we wanted. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And a year later, I bought it. And we had it for years and she died. You bought the away. one that you knew you didn't want. Yeah, we loved it. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's, uh, yeah. I know it happens. <laughs> it does. That proves the point. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then w- the American RV thing, I got the bug and ended up one with three slides and a corner bath. And did you tour that around the UK and Europe? Yeah. And how did you find that? Uh, tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially oh, towing the car. Easy, you get you bus around there. Well. I remember going down to Ladrum Bay in a big American RV with a car on the back <laughs> and this guy's coming up the hill and he wouldn't budge. He said, highway code is I have right away. I said, well, I know that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah I, what you don't appreciate is I've got a car behind me and to reverse, I've got to take the car off, move the car back up and he, he wouldn't have it. So really? I just said, well, mate, you do what you want. I've got a week's worth of food and drink in there. <laughs> so I got back in the RV, spun the driver's seat. The kid said, dad, what are you doing? I said, I'm teaching him a lesson and he did reverse. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the same with the lorries. I take the keys out and say I'm paid by the hour. Yeah. <laughs> you do what you want, pal. I'm paid yeah. by the hour. So then we got, then we decided, to, I suppose, to go a bit more European, a bit smaller. Yeah. Um, and we bought a bunk bed motorhome, which we thought was a good idea. Mm-hmm. I hated sleeping in the overcap bed. Oh, but really? That's where I sleep all the time. Is really? That, really? Yeah, because my... Like a coffin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not like a coffin. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so you leave your lounge. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted the bed always made up. 
I always wanted a bed made up. Right. But then I wanted as much living space as possible. If I'm going to live in it, I wanted as much. So the downstairs. But you haven't got a garage. I no, I know. Uh, do you know what? It's the perfect mile home for here. Are you going to get an uh, above cab again? No, Cause no. Because if you I'm go not. to Europe, that's no, going to cost you a fortune. And it's going to be hot. Yeah. That's what I'm dealing with. So in the summer, in the yet. summer here, I sleep on the sofa downstairs. Uh, downstairs. Downstairs. Right. Yeah. downstairs. <laughs> I said that to my mum once. She said, "You're a fool. You haven't got a downstairs. <laughs> you haven't got an upstairs. You live in a van." But she's right. <laughs> she is. But she didn't have to be so brutal. She no, I meant you're, you're a fool. fool <laughs> yeah, and just yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I know that. I know that. That was the thing. That's a given. That's, that's so where do you keep all your stuff then? You've got a rear I've got no stuff. garage. You've got no <laughs> stuff. I've got no stuff. No. Okay, no. fair enough. No. But I've, you have got an air fryer. Yeah, I've got an air fryer. Okay, yeah, I've seen your air yeah, fryer. Yeah, no, I've got. I've, I've just whittled it down. I've got a storage unit, a little storage unit in my brother's garden. Apart from that. I don't have anything else. Everything right. I have is inside the mold. So you stripped it right back. Yeah, yeah. Love I that. mean, when I first moved in, I had everything. You haven't even got a shaver, have you? No, lost it. <laughs> lost it. It's in there can't. somewhere. I got stuck. <laughs> this is how much you don't make on YouTube. I can't <laughs> even afford to buy one. You really, you just can't afford it these days. <laughs> so, so what are you going to buy? Then what layout are you going to buy? I'm looking at an A class. Oh right, okay. Oh, yeah. So now you're cupping fashion and drawing. <laughs> so yeah, fi- yeah. So fixed bed, which one? Fixed bed. Uh, so fixed beds at the back whether it's twins or uh, transverse I'm not an island I don't really want an island okay because I want a massive garage yeah. okay and then I want a nice big lounge and then the last real one is it has to be heavy four and a half five ton yeah to put all your non-stuff to, on to put well so then I can buy some stuff <laughs> <laughs> then I can actually buy you some stuff you can't afford stuff once you've got a van <laughs> well hopefully I can <laughs> but you're quitting your job so yeah, yeah. how are you paying for it <laughs> Again, this, it's not, it's not well thought out, all this. <laughs> all this isn't well thought out. Yeah, your mum was right. I'm a fool. <laughs> we'll just title it. Do you want us to consult I'm a fool. with you? Please. You need a VW camper Please. and you're done. A VW, can you imagine him in a VW camper? Oh, God. Do you know what? They're loved by millions, but yeah, I just do no. not like them. No, me too. I, I do think. not like them. No, I'm not a fan. Oh. No, I'm not a fan. I love, I love a coach built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I love a coach Could you built. live in one full time, do you think? Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I would. Yeah, I'd let, I'd let the kids get older. Yeah, um, and it's good yeah. parenting that. Yeah, <laughs> and then they can dis- let them get older. Let I don't see older. chose to, to yeah. let them get older. Oh, yeah, they they have my blessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll let you live no to get older. But I will allow it. <laughs> I will allow it. <laughs> I don't see my daughter. She's twenty and at uni, and that's it. She's gone. Isn't it I've, magic? They I've, leave I've, home and they're gone. Well, how old's yours? Twenty-one. Oh, there you are. Is she at uni? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's she at you? Winchester. Okay, yeah, mine's down in Plymouth. Oh, so nice. I have to go down and see her. Oh, yeah, that's a track. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite not, a drive. Well, for us, it's not too bad. I'd we'll just take the motorhome and live down there for a yeah. while. Well, yeah, we could do. Well, yeah. we're going to go do down and see her. you know what's amazing her. about the motorhome? What? That when they come back to visit, you can move. And they don't know where you're at. <laughs> you they want to borrow it. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, you that's just leave. Too. Just change the locks, put a ring doorbell and go, <laughs> sorry, sorry, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> the person you've come to see is yeah. not available. You get that, yeah. one of those stickers, no cold callers. Yeah. No junk mail. And definitely no family. <laughs> no kids. Yeah, no kids. <laughs> so what have you been doing at the show then, Darren? Kat's been busy speaking, yeah, shouting. Been, uh, yeah. 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 What have you been up to? I've just been uh, roaming around looking at bits and bobs, looking at some layouts, um, meeting a lot of subscribers, to be fair. A lot of selfies. I had someone come to me and ask, where's Darren? <laughs> I it? said, I don't know. Why are you asking me? He said, I saw you talking to him earlier. <laughs> yeah. what you, you need an air tag. I need an air tag on me to find <laughs> and me. And a big map to yeah. show yeah. your location. Yeah, I don't stick out like a sore thumb at all, do I? <laughs> no, so you've not been putting a deposit down on anything? No, I'm going to be buying second hand. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there is one here that I would buy new. Go if on. I had the cash... I'd buy the Carthago nice. Sea Line. Is it yeah. Chic Sea Line? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that on the Merc chassis. Oh, very nice. And um, how much is that? 135. Oh, get two. I think it's 130 grand, 135 grand. You can afford that. So, That's can we start a GoFundMe? Yeah. You, can't even, <laughs> you can't even afford to wear trousers on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I can't get a razor yet. <laughs> You've seen that YouTube channel. By the way, anybody who's been listening to the last 10 minutes, my name's Keith Goodman and I do represent <laughs> this particular podcast with Motor Home Man. Yeah. Just a few <laughs> questions. Just a few questions for yeah. you. There. So that's so that's what you'd buy here. Okay. Anything? Uh, 
Anything that you've seen, anything that you want. Do you want. know what? The, I don't think I'd ever buy it, but the coolest thing I've seen, and I don't even remember what brand it was, I was that overexcited, was the one with the inflatable pop the top Barsner. mode. The thank Barsner. you. I just, I've never seen anything yeah. like it. I don't think I'd ever have it. There were so many flaws to that plan. It's got an um, actual staircase but inside. But it's got a staircase and it's got an inflatable and not, thing. And it's it was not really just cool. a staircase, it's a little twisty staircase. Is it? It's just yeah. a little twist, isn't it? It's, it's very cool, uh, isn't it? It was yeah. very cool. Inside looks amazing. Yeah. Outside, I don't know. It's a bit of a slap. Have you seen the Heimer? It? It's a bit of a four. Oh, the Ventura all. thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's nice. Nice. Very cool. Oh, yeah. hang on. I've, I've just got a call coming in. Uh, uh, <laughs> Volkswagen are on the line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've got a bone to pick with these three. <laughs> I know we get sponsored yeah. by them many yeah. times. So they're, saying, they're offering me a freebie if I take one, yeah. if I live in it, if I can stand it for a year. So it. It for free. Yeah, you should contact them. Look, I I've want to prove that. that I don't like your van. So, so anyway, we've been doing the podcast for a while now, and actually there's been a bit of doom and gloom around because of the financial situation, mm-hmm. yeah. the difficulty you know, when you order, yeah, yeah. getting the vans through or getting the motorhome through. Uh, it seems there's a lot more optimism to me as an outsider at this particular show. What's your feelings? Um, I think the industry as a whole has got a backlog that it needs to fulfil. So I think that backlog will yeah. at least continue for the next 12 months just because they have to catch up. Um, I do, and this is my personal opinion, I have no evidence whatsoever to back this up, but I feel because things are getting a little bit tighter and people are penny pinching a bit more, there are a lot of people who bought motorhomes and camper vans during the pandemic to travel that are now like, well, I've not really used it enough to justify carry on paying it. Those will go back on the market secondhand. So I think the secondhand market will recover quite quickly. You'll be able to buy your van at a more reasonable price. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the new vans will stay higher for a little bit longer while they catch up. Yeah. Again, my opinion. I mean, that's what a lot of people have been saying to me, that they've been waiting for so long. They've been waiting 18 months, 12 months for their motorhomes. And, they, and, and some of them are just still waiting. They're, just, they're, they're itching to get them, but they can't catch up. Yeah. No. Um, so they really do need to, you know, catch yeah. up. As so what do you think is going to happen then with, with electrification? Because that's going to be the next curveball, isn't it? <laughs> so it, it's, it's not a secret that you know, manufacturers no. of the chassis yeah. are not focused like they were on producing combustion engine yeah. vehicles. No. And their attention is on alternative. Yeah. Now, 2030, we have to be hybrid as a minimum, all new. Yeah. Right, so let, we're talking new at the minute. Yeah, and yeah. all of us own second-hand motorhomes. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're not necessarily in the new buying market. No. But yeah, that, what impact is that going to have, do you think? Do you think they're going to hit that target? No. Well, there's a question. Because no. that's seven years away, and that's well, a this lot government of they'll change it ten more times, won't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to yeah. get Liz on, but you know, uh, yeah. she's otherwise occupied. Otherwise well. occupied. Hang on, hang on, the phone's gone. <laughs> she, she's changed her mind. <laughs> Packing her bag. She wants to be W. She's back. <laughs> she's uh, she's buying that famous uh, Russian camper van, <laughs> the Oski. There it is. <laughs> the Oski. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> she's Oski. <laughs> and heaven only knows who we're going to get next. Oh, uh, so yeah, so the feeling of the show I, I thought was very optimistic, yeah. given yeah, all no, the economic pressures, uh, given the fact that I mean, you go to Harrods and spend five grand to get a personal shopper. Yeah. Here, you've got one hundred and thirty-five thousand pounds to spend, yeah. and you queue up on the ladder to get in to have yeah. a look, don't you? Yeah, I mean, very democratic. I mean, <laughs> hang on, Keith, where did you go to Harrods and spend five grand on a personal shopper? I mean, five grand. Look at him. It's that T-shirt. It's not even his T-shirt. It's just, this is an EasyJet T-shirt. <laughs> he bought a job lot and overstamped his name on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an interesting show, hasn't it, in terms yeah. of future yeah. availability. What do you think is going to happen for used values then? I think they are going to. I think they will come down. Mm-hmm. Do you? yeah, I do think they're going to come down because if we, if we, you know, if we talk serious for a second. I mean, obviously the the mortgages. I haven't got one. I don't, you know, they they've rocketed recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have rocketed. And now, if you've got a fifty, sixty thousand pound motorhome on the driveway, and well, we're not. We're coming into the off season now, so yeah. it's. You know, we're not going to be getting back out until March, April, May. Mm-hmm. Um, if that's if they if they've got to do three, four payments of really high mortgage payments, mm-hmm. yeah, that's going to go before the house goes. So yeah, yeah. that's a fair point. That's that, that's definitely. I mean, and, and that's got to pay a heating bill. Yeah, somehow. and that's from someone that's completely. You know, I'm not in that situation. You know, fortunately, but mm. and I feel sorry for the people that yeah. you know that it's going to happen to, but. They are going to take a hit, aren't they? They're, yeah. they're yeah. going to get rid of that before they get rid of anything else. And what's your view, Kat? I totally agree. I think, and just as they come on, because there are then more options for people, the prices will naturally come down a bit to hopefully something yeah. like what they were before the pandemic. You see, I don't agree good. with either of you. Okay, interesting. You know, what's your view? view. I, I have a different view. I, the thing is, you see, that 
people have paid a premium price yeah. for the product. What we see as a premium price, yeah. I certainly yeah. do, yeah. and that's become the norm. Mm -hmm. And why would they give it away for less than they paid? Way less than they paid for it. A, de a dealer has bought it. Yeah. They're not yeah. going to sell it for less than they paid it. They're in business. Yeah, they are. But the word is a glut. But is there going to be is there going to be a glut that's going to drive the price down? Well, no, because I don't think it's going to be just the dealers. Because it, yeah. if if you've got that sitting on the driveway, like I say, for mm -hmm. for fifty thousand pounds, that it's, 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 it should be getting value for. Yeah. Then you know, and they go to a dealer, and the dealer will say, "I'll give you thirty for it," yeah. because they know they might hold it for a year, potentially. If if they're looking, the outlook is looking yeah. gloomy. Then I come along and say, "Hey, I'll give you, you know." 40 for it they'll take they'll, they'll bite my hand off before they'll bite the dealers off so yeah. then the dealers are cut out a little bit because they're going to be trying to save their their costs at all, at all costs yeah and I think you're right There's there will be some of that yeah. but I don't think your point about the price coming back to where it was I don't think that's going it to might happen. not come all the way back down but surely no. the more that you have on the market it will naturally drive the price down the, the demand bit. is still there isn't it yep. so, yeah it is, and, it is and as we go into recession I think that's going to mean people look at UK holidays they're perceived to be yeah. cheaper and people yeah. will go well let's invest in this motorhome because uh, yes they, money will be expensive yeah, they are yeah. perceived to be cheaper but then again you've got the fuel as well like it's just to drive somewhere do you not think people will be more likely to rent? It is quite a lot. I think, yeah, the I think rental's going to be strong. Hit, hit I'm, well. op I'm optimistic about rental yeah, for next year. Yeah, that might hit well. I'm anticipating a better year for us than we had this year. We didn't have the best year this year. Mm. I think people took holidays they paid for yeah. two years ago. Yeah, yeah well, I did. Um, I, I, just, yeah. I went to Turkey uh, two weeks ago, which was booked like three years ago. Yeah, you can see the are. suntan. <laughs> yeah, I'm glowing. <laughs> Do, do you know somewhere. what I actually try to just put sun cream on my arms and then just like not anywhere else just try and even myself out because I'm like a, like I'm anemic I'm anemic white <laughs> so just, Wait, you look well on it it's the lights above your head <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is new is going up yeah yes so it is, it that is. will naturally I think prop the used up because people say well look at them new now they're 80,000 yeah. and they yeah. only paid 60 for it and I, I just think people looking at new that are buying will go, well, 80K, yeah, I can buy a second M1 for 60. Yeah. The yeah, fact that yeah, person yeah, yeah. only paid 60 for it will be irrelevant. Recently, we sold a motorhome for a gentleman, and I said, I can return you 25K. Mm -hmm. is, yeah. that, is that okay? It was on brokerage, yeah. and we'd sold it for a bit more. He said, yeah, that's great. He said, I bought it eight years ago for 24. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, I mean, I bought mine for, for 18, and like I said, I've been in almost six years. And I've done a few bits to it, but they were got, they're, they're here, neither here or there. And they were saying they could get 24 for it. 24, 25. Yeah, easy. And I was, let's just... You need another 110 then for yeah. the van. <laughs> but you see, and, yeah. I, and I think what, what we're coming at this as motorhome owners. Yep. Yes. For people who are not, they will see yep. your van as worth 24, 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the new one, the, yeah. if you look at the new equivalent of yours, yes. Swift, is probably, I don't know what it is, 80k, 75k, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. that, yeah, yeah. So 25k, well, that's a bargain. That looks like a bargain. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll agree with you there. Yeah. And I think money is devaluing. Yep. So oh, yeah. So inflation causes that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it becomes, you know, a 25k is not worth as much as it was. So, no. you know, yes, it's six grand more than you paid for it. Yeah, but I think I and I think that's why the prices won't come down. Okay, yeah. we should come back in a year and see. We'll well, see yeah, right. we'll uh, see who was right. Interestingly, two thousand I think it was two thousand eighteen. Mm -hmm. I went around taking prices of uh, photos, sorry, price boards. Oh really? I took about fifty photos, and I was going through them, looking at the prices of new motorhomes, thirty six k, thirty nine k, fifty six k. A high end one was sixty two k. And you go around now, yeah. and it's hard to find anything under what fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, you, you, there's not, there's virtually any, nothing out there. So I think we're really. going to pull. We're, we are intending to take loads of photos again this year. Yeah, And, yeah, yeah. and put a comparison together. Because, See what you can find. Yeah, it's just rocketed. Can I just interject for a moment? Please, and, he's back. And put another put another side to the mm. to this. Given the economic crisis, and you mentioned mortgages and yep. people being able to afford them. Do you think that people might give up their houses and live in a motorhome, buy a motorhome? Yeah. Well, a lot of people said this to, to me because when I've had this conversation with people, they're saying that the, the cost of motorhomes might rise because of exactly that. Yeah. Now, yeah, I do. But again, I think I go back to the, thing, the example of it's on the driveway and they're looking at their house could be taken or they, they might, you know, they can't, they can't pay their bills. The motorhome will go first, then 
you know, don't want it to happen, but then the house would go, and then one would get left, then they'd buy them buy a motorhome to move in. That's the way I would see it. Because a lot of people, I suppose, haven't bought a motorhome to live in. No. They bought a motorhome to holiday in. They're two yeah. totally different mm. things. And yeah. it's, diff- it's different to America, isn't it? A lot of people live in, yeah. in mobile homes and yeah. uh, yeah. motorhomes in, in America. Could it be possibly if people's mortgages do go up by so much they sell the home, buy yeah. a motorhome, and pay the mortgage I, off I and bank the rest? I think we'll see any, a, a large percentage increase of people that end up yeah. living in a motorhome. There's a lot of people but, who have that dream, aren't there? And, yeah, and, there is. Yeah, the there whole is. hashtag van life yeah. Instagram. I mean, you jumping in naked to that little plunge pool. That's you. That's <laughs> me van life hashtag. No. We're back to is. the bikini again, aren't we? He wants me in a bikini, doesn't he? <laughs> no, he does. He, he really, really does. does. Yeah. You know. I mean, the bikini might be optional at this stage, <laughs> you know. I reckon. <laughs> He might be one of the ones that's on my on my uh, channel might. that's asking me for OnlyFans. Yes. The amount of really? people that ask me for that is unreal. You, really? Are you going to do it? Oh, well. <coughs> 110 grand. If, if I don't start saving me money yet quick, then yeah, I might have to. Yeah, it's the only <laughs> way you're going to afford that. If the, bri- if the prices are going up, then I'm going to have to sell something. And I ain't got much else. I don't, I don't have no belongings you're hidden. You're So I've only got yeah. this. <laughs> you know. Work it, baby. Work yeah. it. I've actually got a little bit sick in my mouth. <laughs> We've been uh, we've been banging on now for about twenty five minutes. So the last five minutes, can I just throw this one in? We were at uh, today that uh, um, launch of that survey. It was yeah. the was it the Caravan Club? Uh, I, I, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the Cam- Cam- and the Caravan Club have done a survey right. of the mental health impact okay. that camping holidays have, um, and the enjoy. Yeah, I can't remember the title of it because they've put two words there. It doesn't matter what the title of it is, but no. they've actually uh, they've got together with two universities mm-hmm. and uh, asked people, you know, done surveys, come up with 11,000 responses in the wow. end. Wow. And, and they've discovered and released the information today that actually there is such a thing as a happy camper. It yeah. does make you happy. It yeah. is it good does. for you. What's your take on that? Then? Totally agree. Yeah. I've suffered from mental health issues for a long, long, long time. And I think a combination of being able to get outdoors more and certainly be, you know, walking my dog has helped a lot. But I think for me personally, I always have had that sort of wanderlust, want to move, yeah. itchy feet syndrome. And yeah, motorhome life suits me down to the ground. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I've, uh, I didn't move into a motorhome or anything because of money or because of saving for a house or anything like that. I just done it on a whim. You know, I thought it'd be a good idea. Um, they like OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, people say, oh, are you going to go back to a house or would you go back to a house and, you know, why would you do it? And, and it sounds like a really, really cheesy answer, but I, I've found happiness. Mm-hmm. I have happiness yeah. doing what I do. And I'm, I wouldn't change it at, at all. What I do, being able to move, being able to travel and explore and, and change my scenery and do exactly what I want when I want is is amazing. It yeah. really is. It's fascinating how we both live in a van, but we have totally different ways of living in the van. Yeah. Because you're based around an area for work still, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, basically. Right, show off. <laughs> but it's, it's more like, so you know, you know your areas where you can work, yeah, 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 where yeah. you can urban camp, where you can do all that yeah. stuff. And it and yet it works for both of us. Yes, yeah. it really does. Yeah, I mean, it's not just one type of van life. No, there's just mu- there's, there's there's thousands of ways you can do it, and it's just yeah, just getting out there and exploring, having but, fun. But and the key is with this survey is out of eleven thousand people that they asked, it makes them feel happy. It's that mm-hmm. it's that indescribable feeling. Yeah. They can't put their finger yeah. on it. It's an adventure but with a fridge and a bed. The science has backed it up. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's and it's fascinating definitely, research. Definitely. A year of research. Yeah. by some very clever people <laughs> not us not us <laughs> no. not us at we, all. we know it to be true <laughs> yeah yeah 100% they let the scientists loose yeah. on it and they studied the data and, and, and the it, feedback yeah, and it, well it was 16,000 people wasn't it and they filtered out a load of yeah they filtered out yeah. a load of miserable people and kept the happy ones <laughs> <laughs> one out of five say no <laughs> In, incomplete survey <laughs> yeah. filter yeah. leaving 11,000 <laughs> spoiled <laughs> ballots <laughs> like 90 something percent were yeah. Yeah, in agreement that it, yeah Getting outdoors and camping. It is, it is brilliant. The, the fresh air just does amazing things. Yeah. And getting, you know, I know, you know, what we're all doing now is, is for social media, is for computers and all that. But getting away from that screen mm-hmm. just for a little bit really does help, yeah. help wonders. Yeah. yeah. It really does. Yeah, it's very good. All right, as an outsider again, best place you've ever been to, you'd recommend to people? Uh, hands down, Scotland. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been across the water yet, but Scotland is... Oh, it's, it's amazing. Every turn you take is just like a whole new vista of wow. You know, it's just incredible. It really is. And I can't wait to spend months there and months and months and do, do some fishing, do some exploring, do some photography. 
make some videos of me being stupid. And, yeah, uh, yeah, standard. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, standard. <laughs> Fool. 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 And okay, Kate, you? Um, I've just come back from Scotland. It was magic, but I'll go with a different answer. The Dolomites in Italy were incredible. And Norway. Norway is mind-blowing. Yeah. Everyone should go to Norway. It's brilliant. What about yours? No, Norway is beautiful. We haven't done it in a motorhome. Yeah. Okay. We did it on a cruise ship. Because that's me all over. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Did it you was go amazing. winter or summer? Well, uh, we went in... We, we went in winter. Did you see the Northern Lights? Uh, no. Oh. But we, he didn't no. book them. He didn't book them. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 70 degrees on deck when we were at sea. It was incredible. Oh, wow. I sat there with my Mac working. Mm-hmm. But it was phenomenal. And we gravitated to the campsites yeah. when we got off the ship yeah. and went for a walk and just wandering around. They're just so, phenomenal. Hardly any Brits there. Yeah. Uh, absolutely beautiful, I so, agree. What about yours? Say, how about you? Well, like I so say, I'm, I'm an outsider. So yeah. pick and ride park, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's as far as I That's as far as it <laughs> I mean, a standard guy. Yeah, I'll leave it up to you, experts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's about that's done and dusted for this live podcast. So yeah. Matt, we made it through. Your guests have been. This is Cat Wandering Bird. Thank you so much for interrupting. You are more than welcome any time. Behavior Every time, Kat. possibly. Yeah, happen tomorrow. <laughs> and Darren, the motorhome, A- urban A- motorhome. Fool. Yeah, fool. <laughs> Your mum's very proud. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, we got, we got two, never tell you, two she... viewers. <laughs> yeah. One's your mum. <laughs> Any, Thanks, so- ma'am. any socials that need plugging? <laughs> Wandering no. Bird Adventures everywhere for me. Yeah, and um, motorhome, you'll find me everywhere. Mm. I get around. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> he does. I sleep around. <laughs> I need one of my t shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what the cat's t shirt is. Yeah. I'll give you one. <laughs> well, thank you both for coming on. No, thanks for having us. Thanks for been, not inviting me. It has me. been a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a laugh. Cheers, thank guys. You. Thanks. So, this has been the Motor Mo- Home M- Matt podcast. I managed to finally <laughs> to, to get it out with me, Keith Gooden, and of course, the man himself. It's Motor Home Matt. We'll see you soon. Thanks for listening to the Motorhome Matt podcast. Remember to check back here for more episodes full of hints and tips and helpful advice. We'll see you soon for another Motorhome Matt podcast brought to you with thatleisureshop.com.